Come on! About 5,000 years later, I'm still waiting for it. There's a few decent shots.
cheese it. There ain't nothing here. Step through this door, get ready for anything. Nikki, what are you doing? You're coming to my house, shoot up my guys? You have any idea how much this is gonna set me back? I wouldn't be here if it weren't for your two-timing dame, Skinny. You ought to tell her to write home more. You got beat up by a girl. I'll just run back home to death, shall I? Should have left that alone, Nikki. No. This ain't the old neighborhood. In this vault, I'm king of the castle. You hear me? And I ain't letting some private dick shut us down now that I finally got a good thing going. I told you we should have just killed him. But then you had to get all sentimental. All that stupid crap about the old times. Dala, I'm handling this. Skinny Malone's always got things under control. Oh, yeah? Then what's this lady doing here, huh? 
Valentine must have brought her here to rub us all out. Darla, listen to me. You have a home to go back to. You don't want to throw your life away with these thugs. I... I... Yes, finally. You're right! What are you doing? I've gotten all mixed up. Darla! Where... Where are you going? Home, Skinny. Where I should have been all this time. This is goodbye for us. Oh, come on, Nikki. You cost me my men. Now you and your friend cost me my girl. My friend here just did you a favor, Skinny. You always did have bad taste in women. Now that she's not around to feed that temper of yours, maybe you'll see sense and let us walk. You still owe me for two weeks in the hole. Smug, overconfident ass. Get out of here! All right, you get to the count of ten. I still see your face after that. I'm gunning both of you down. Gotta get out of here fast. One, two, three, four, five. No. Cooking above it. so naturally ominous could end up looking so inviting. <laughs> Thanks for no. getting me out. How did you know where to find me anyway? Not many people knew where I went. Your secretary, Ellie. She sent me. She did? I should give her a raise. Now, you mentioned something about your... I want you to come to my office and dime... I'll meet you there. See you in Diamond City. Legitimate medical concern, or is this about our facial reconstructive services? Yeah. See what's wrong with me, doctor. Now, go over your symptoms for me, one at a time. Feeling sick. I think it's radiation. We'll clean you up. Don't worry. Done. 
Was there anything else bothering you? No other complaint. Take better care of yourself. Doctor. Yep. This better be an emergency. Yeah. Take a look at me, Doc. What's feeling off today? What can you tell me? Took a few bad hits recently. Got knocked around. Uh, you look fine, but... Oh, wait. Yeah, that's gonna need to be set back in place. Let's get started. Done. Now, was there anything else bothering you? Haven't been hitting the chems too hard. Glad to hear it. Anything else? No. We're done. All right. Don't ruin my hard work by dying out there. Need some custom hardware? We've got a few workbench. I, I don't all know. You. Just keep your distance. Scopes, clip sizes, barrel. Keep calm. I'm standing still. That's exactly what a synth would say. I don't know. Are you really, uh, human? Human as the day I was born. Well, you do look human enough. But I'll be watching you. I have eyes like a... Well, they're good eyes. Got it? All right. We can do business, but no funny stuff. Let's see what you have. Here's what we got. Not as long as I got a few friends to back me up. 
You saved Nick, this agency, and my job. Thank you. Happy to do it. Yeah? Go diving into scary pre-war ruins all the time then, do you? Here, every cap we agreed to for finding him. Plus a little something extra. You know, if you're looking for work and don't mind putting on the detective hat, Nick sure could use a new partner. Whoa. One case at a time, Ellie. Our new friend needs our help first. All right, let's get down to business. Take a seat. Make yourself comfortable. When you're trying to find someone who's gone missing, the devil is in the details. Tell me everything you can, no matter how painful it might be. We were in a vault when it happened. Vault 111. It was some kind of cryo facility. You were on ice, huh? More importantly, you were underground, sealed up. A lot of obstacles to get through just to take one person. What else can you tell me? My husband was murdered. He was just trying to keep them from taking Sean, and they. They just, they just... It's okay. You don't need to say anything more. So, we're talking about a group of cold-hearted killers. But they waited until something went wrong to resort to violence. Anything else you remember? There was a man and a woman. And they didn't say much. So, we're talking a small team. Professionals. Kind. Anything else you remember? We're looking for my baby, Sean. He's less than a year old. Why would anyone take him? Good question. Why your family in particular? Why an infant? Someone would be taking on all of his care, and a baby needs a lot of it. Well, that confirms it. This isn't a random kidnapping. Whoever took your kid had an agenda. There's a lot of groups in the Commonwealth that take people. Raiders. Super mutants, the gunners, and of course there's the Institute. Who are the gunners? High-end mercenaries. No job too brutal. They're in the running as likely suspects. They wouldn't be the ones pulling the strings. Super mutants? What are they? Big, green, muscles on muscles. In other words, hard to miss. I think we can safely rule them out. You think raiders might have done this? <laughs> I honestly doubt it. They can barely organize themselves, let alone pull off something this complicated. So, you think this institute is responsible? Well, they're the boogeymen of the Commonwealth. If something goes wrong, everyone blames them. Easy to see why. Those early model synths of theirs strip whole towns for parts, killing everything in their way. Then you got the newer models, good as human infiltrate cities and pull strings from the shadows. Worst of all, no one knows why they do it, what their plan is, or where they are. Not even me. I'm a synth myself. A discarded prototype, anyway. You're a prototype? As far as I know. Never seen any other synth like myself. There's the older ones that are dumb as rocks and all metal. And there's the newer ones that are almost human. I'm somewhere in between. <sighs> Don't lie to me, Nick. You're one of them. They made you. Yeah, I've heard it all before. You're a freak. You've got me. But the truth is, uh -huh. arrogant enough. You don't know anything about them. Really? Some kind of security setting strips or blocks out those memories. And it's not just me. Any synth that gets trashed, left behind, or escapes the Institute has the same problem. Probably some kind of failsafe. Either way, I need to find Sean. Right. The speculation is getting us off track. Let's focus on what you saw. What did these kidnappers look like? I'll never forget them. Uh, not much to go on. But a tough and commanding voice can get someone pretty far in the violence business. What else? 
The woman was dressed in, uh, I think it was kind of a hazard suit. The man had some sort of metal brace on his arm. Maybe some kind of improvised armor? A lot of hired guns do that to look tough. The hazard suit is interesting. Not many mercs can afford something that fancy. What else do you remember about them? The man who killed my husband, he had a handgun. I didn't get a clear look at it, but that sound. Could have been a large caliber revolver. Huh. I'm starting to get a clearer picture of the kind of man our perp is. Anything more you can tell me? One of them came right up to me. Bald head, scar across his left eye. Wait. It couldn't be. You didn't hear the name Kellogg at all, did you? Who is he? Do you think he has... Way too big. Ellie, what notes do we have about the Kellogg case? The description matches. Bald head, scar, reputation for dangerous mercenary work. And he bought a house here in town. Yeah, that's right. You said he lives here? They both vanished a while back. Let you and I take a walk. Security doesn't really go to that part of town, but... Uh -huh. I always am. Please like, subscribe for more videos, please. Didn't want LED.